So for quite some time, I've gotten a lot of requests to try something called carbon black, or sometimes referred to as lamp black, but I think it's the same thing. But I'm not quite sure because I'm not a chemist and I don't play one on TV. Now I ordered some stuff that was called carbon black. Now, if I understand correct, this is supposedly pure carbon, but it's basically in the form of what most people would think would be soot. And it's made by burning natural gas or acetylene or some kind of other, I think, petroleum product. And what's collected is the carbon black. Again, looks a lot like soot. Now, why I got so many requests for this, I'm not quite sure. Again, I'm not a chemist. But I've heard from a lot of people that seem to think that being pure carbon, and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to use a lot of air quotes in this one because I'm not quite sure. This is just what I hear. But being pure carbon, it should burn faster, cleaner, better. There's one thing I've learned about making antique muzzle loading propellant is the carbon source is exceptionally important. So this stuff is made at the same ratio of 77, 13, 10. It was milled for 24 hours using brass media. The density was checked. It worked out to, I believe, 1.78 grams per cubic centimeter, which is right on par with the commercial stuff. And we're using the Kibler Southern Mountain Rifle 45 caliber with a 440 round ball, a 20 thousandths patch, and we're using 50 grains, and all the shots are primed with the same powder they're charged with. So here it goes. Okay, so here's our lamp black. Lamp black. Yeah. That's pure carbon. Yeah, so to speak, pure. I knew it. I knew you were going to do that. Yep. Hanging. 1235. Ew. Womp womp. BB gun. <clears throat> oh, man, that's horrible. 12.35. Well, we got three more rounds to go. I could tell by... Nice. There we go. That's how it's done. You've only missed once. 80 yards, baby. We'll see how it... Uh, 60? We'll see how the follow-up is. Easy or yeah. hard it is to load. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Isn't it kind of funny, though? It's like Because last... it, technically Lamp Black is a, is a petroleum product, so it wouldn't Make surprise it me at all if it's slippery and greasy. Like your Vaseline? Yes. Petroleum product. It is. Yeah. No. 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 No, in fact. Oh, man, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Might call it quits after this oh, one. Oh, man. No, oh. dude, we got to do all four. No, fuck. Look at this. Yes, we don't. have to do all four. No, I don't. Yes, we do. Out of your gun, man. I'll, I'll hand it to you. You swab it for me for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a... This shit's... This shit's gross. Nasty, huh? Oh, good. More firework powder. We made about a pound of this, too. Maybe all right. Shot number two. Too. I didn't even hit it. How did I not hit that? That's... What? 12. 1340. Oh, no, man. I, I, this I won't is do it. I won't, junk. No, I won't do it. No. You can't make me. One, one more. No, damn it. Yeah, one more. I don't know if I'll be able to load the thing. Yeah, you will. It smells funky. That's what, Ed, that's what Ed was saying. It smells funky. It smells you funky. I might need it, Jim. <laughs> Only problem is all your guys' ramrods too short. Yeah. Not long enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <coughs> oh lordy. Jeez. Sorry, honey. Jesus, dude. Stop with where. Wanna bring it back to blackjack? I got a mallet in there if you want to hammer it in. Right. Good lord, man. 
Don't let your brother talk you into that shit again. Yeah, uh, trust me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we have to do three. Otherwise, it's not a proper test. Well, we'll do it out of your gun. Fine. We got to get some baseline numbers first. Oh, my God. Come on now. Ugh. Oh. Wow. All right, Jake, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Blow up now, move. Don't say that. I've double powdered and double balled before and it's never blown up. Remember Jimmy's? Hang. 12.49. Okay, it's junk. official, it's junk. Junk, junk Ola. Junk. Here. It's all yours. <laughs> Oh, this is mine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that, uh, that was a catastrophe. Yeah, that was an absolute freaking well, nightmare. Well, I don't even want to show my face for this part. Yeah, screw that. Too embarrassing. Screw that lamp black stuff. That's just disgusting. Even better. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good idea. Wow, that was a, that that was a mess. That was horrible. That right there was, was a absolutely that fucking rod horrible. is bending side to side on the car. I'm, and I'm thumping on it, and I'm like, I don't think it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, that's wow, wow, that that that's acceptable. Man, dang, wow, that was awful. Wow, I, I'm sorry. I'm, oh I'm, yeah, do it one more time. Come we, on, man. We have to do three. We have to get at least three shots in. Otherwise now, to be fair, I had plenty of people over the last couple videos when I mentioned the carbon black say that uh, this is going to not work well and son of a... That's not exactly what happened. I've made a lot of really lousy powder in my day doing a lot of experiments and getting the method that we use kind of narrowed down. But this is, without a doubt, the worst black powder that we have ever made. I take full responsibility. Why? I'm not really sure. One thing we did notice, and even when we were lighting it off on the ground, which after we get it sorted and glazed, I do always spark some off on the ground just to see. And it didn't flash very fast. Now, another thing I've learned when it comes to antique muzzle loading propellant is just because it doesn't flash very fast in open air doesn't mean it won't make good pressures and work pretty decent. I would point you to the sodium nitrate video we did. Now, in that video, it does not work very well in a flintlock, but anything with a cap ignition, it actually works very well. Now, I have to tell you this right here. Anytime I mention sodium nitrate, I have to tell you, because people will just repeat this comment over and over and over again, that sodium nitrate is extremely hygroscopic and will soak up moisture and it'll ruin your powder eventually. Yes, thank you. That's why we don't typically use sodium nitrate. That's why we use potassium nitrate. But I have to tell you that because if I don't, somebody in the comment section will be hammering away about why I didn't mention it and so on and so forth. So anyway, the moral of that story is just because it doesn't flash in open air fast doesn't mean it won't make pretty decent, powerful black powder. Not the case with this stuff. So I'll show you the numbers, not that anybody cares because they're that terrible, but it averaged 1,274 feet per second with a max spread of 105. I have no idea why it has that wide a spread, but it does. And uh, delivers 504 foot-pounds of energy. Oh my God, who the hell cares? That was awful. So uh, the handful of people that uh, told me beforehand that this was going to be bad, you are right, 100% correct. It was awful. As for the folks that seemed to think it would do well, I don't really know why it didn't do well. Uh, again, it's supposedly a petroleum product, and maybe that just doesn't mix well with black powder. So as you can see in the video, I did not fire more than three rounds because it was absolutely Filthy. I mean, that is just terrible. Uh, when I first started making compressed powder, I was using the Desert Willow, which made fast black powder, but it was really, really dirty. 
Still not that dirty, but pretty damn close. You heard my brother mention there that he thought the fouling would kind of be greasy or slippery. It was not. I don't know what to even describe that as. It was just, it was awful. It was, uh, everything about it was just terrible. Oh, well. I do have to say I'm a little bit more open-minded with trying other carbon sources after the toilet paper thing because we thought the toilet paper deal was a joke and it turns out that it was, well, what we would consider to be groundbreaking. So we're a little bit more open-minded to that, uh, but sometimes you just get a bad one and we haven't had a bad one in a while, but that one definitely qualifies. In fact, I would say it was an unmitigated disaster. So... Again, if you have any other things you'd like to see used for antique muzzle loading propellant, let me know in the comments section. And as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, go make your own damn video.